Hello, and welcome to the Those Dweebs podcast, where we have a little bit of everything for everyone. Let's roll the d20 of fate and see what we are talking about today. everyone and welcome to the fourth episode of the podcast. I want to take a minute to thank everyone who has come and supported the podcast so far and I really hope you're enjoying it. I will say I am very sorry that there was such a break between the third episode and this one. Life has gotten a little chaotic so I'm having to learn to work around that and get everything back in gear. Um, between work and then we had ghost the last ghost drama of 2024 like a couple weeks ago I had my friend Kimmy who I've spoke about before on the podcast here uh, for a week during that time as well so everything's been a little chaotic but it's slowly starting to come back to normal and I'm going to learn how to schedule things better. So that's that's definitely going to be a learning process. So I'm sorry if there's sometimes little breaks between these. I'm doing my best. With all that being said, today we are talking about cryptids or legends, either one, but this one has been like at the back of my head since our trip to the Bell Mansion just because we passed through this town and just one of the signs just kind of like just you know caught my eye and I was like what in the world is that and you know what about my time you know we passed by it and then on the way back I was like okay I need to know what this is and it's the called the beast of busco and yes it is like so funny because like th- this town in indiana called churro churro busco like had you know stuff all over about this beast and i'm like okay this has to be something to talk about because it's something I'd never even begun to hear, like to even like hear about before. So, without further ado, I'm going to tell you about the Churro, the Beast of Busco. The Beast of Busco is a is the subject of a legend in Churro Busco, Indiana, about an enormous snapping turtle, which citizens claim to have seen in 1949. Despite a month-long hunt the, that briefly gained national attention, the Beast of Busco was never found. Um, the Beast of Busco, or affectionately known as Oscar, from one of the first discoverers, which I'm reading all of this for the first time, so... That's kind of funny. We have Oscar the in, like enormous snapping turtle. I'm glad we could put, you know, a name to the the legend. Um Sorry. Where did it go? Okay, there you go. Resides in Churro Busco, Indiana, where it is supposedly a giant snapping turtle. Legend has it that the story starts in 1898. When a farmer named Oscar Folk uh, supposedly saw a giant turtle living in the seven-acre lake on his farm near Cherubusco. He told, other, he told others about it, but eventually he decided to leave it alone. A half-century later, in July 1948, two Cherubusco citizens, Ora Blue and Charlie Wilson, also reported seeing an a huge alligator snapping turtle weighing an estimated 500 pounds, holy shit, um, while fishing in the same lake, or on the same lake, which had come to be known as Folk Lake. A farmer named Gail Harris owned the lake at the, at that time. Harris 
and others also reported seeing the creature. Word spread and many expeditions were held to try and get the big beast out of the lake, including draining and motor draining and motor boating the lake. Not much else is known about the beast of Busco. Some say it is just hibernating and waiting for food to come to, come to it. Some say the beast never existed and it was Os just Oscar's way of making the sleepy town feel alive. Now, with all that being said, whether he's real or a legend, the town actually does celebrate Oscar the giant snapping turtle. He is honored in the Turtle Days Festival each June. It includes a parade, carnival, and turtle races. A turtle shell labeled Beast of Busco hangs in the Two Brothers restaurant in Decatur, Indiana. A small concrete statue of a turtle sits on the sidewalk of the main intersection in the center of Cherubusco. And apparently this, this cryptid, legend, whatever you want to call him, the Beast of Busco is featured in a popular trading card game, MetaZoo Cryptid Nation, as well. Now, whether he's... A real or legend is, you know, all skip like speculation. But like, for me, whenever it comes to like these legends, it's very hard to say one way or the other. But like, you know, it's it's the same to me as the Loch Ness monster or Nessie, because whenever you put, you know, a creature of that size out there. And they have places to hide, and it's their habitat. They're going to be able to get away from humans, no problem. Sure, they might be seen here and there, but... Now, I don't know if it also is the same for turtles or tortoises as it is fish. But I know that depending on a fish's tank or environment, it can grow well past what you initially think it can be because of the environment that is allowing it to be there. So, you have a gi giant, you know, lake like this guy was talking, and then, you know, it's in fair possibility that you could have a turtle of that size. Just throwing that out there. You know, it's, it's just one of those things. So, it's a believe at your own discretion. But honestly, I really enjoyed that. That was a like fun, small little like dipping my toe into cryptids. I was going to do a randomly generated one, but then I remembered seeing this and being so fascinated by it that I wanted to actually like bring it to attention of other people because, you know, it was just a random town we passed going to a paranormal convention, and that stuck with me almost two months later. But then again, that's how my brain works. Everyone else might have, you know, a normal brain and, like, doesn't, you know, hyperfixate on something. But, yeah. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think a... 500 pound snapping turtle resides in a lake in Indiana. I mean, why not? You have the Galapago Galapagos giant tortoises who live to be 100 to 200 years old, if not longer, are about five feet and all oh, like five feet in length and can reach more than 500 pounds. So, I mean, like, if one of those can exist, why not Oscar the Beast of Busco? I want to thank everyone for coming and listening to the adventure today. Like I said, definitely just dipping my toes in and exploring this, you know, cryptid world. And if you have any weird 
non well known legends or cryptids that you want me to cover, leave them down in the comments below. I am very curious to see what everyone else has because it's fascinating to me and kind of gets out of that realm of like doing all the ones that are always talked about. As much as I also want to cover those, but that will come later on. But yeah. You can officially find the podcast on Podbean, Amazon Music, or Audible, uh, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Listen Notes, Podchaser, Boomplay, Podcast Attic, Deezer, Samsung, and yes, we finally got on Spotify. I'm so excited. We are almost at that point where I can just say, you can find us wherever you listen to your podcast, but we're not quite there. But I am very excited about this milestone. And yeah, see you guys in the next adventure. Bye now.